everyone. I am Charlene Habermeyer, and this is Tidbits for Wis of Wisdom for Parents under the umbrella of Good Parenting, Brighter Children. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about music. We're going to be talking about specifically classical music. Why is it that classical music builds a bigger, better brain? As I've lectured across the United States, I have parents asking me all the time and educators asking me, why is it classical music that builds a better, bigger, better brain? Why is it classical music that makes kids smarter? Why can't they listen to reggae or jazz or rock and roll? And have any studies been on those different forms and genres of music to show that if they can build a bigger, better brain? Well, actually, yes, they've done a number of different studies to show that, well, those are all great genre of music, but it's not doing anything for your brain per se. But what does do a lot for the brain, of course, is classical music. So then the question is, well, why? So the easiest way that I can explain this is architecturally. So I want you to, for a minute, I want you to either close your eyes or if you're near your home, I want you to go out in front of your home or your apartment or wherever you live. And I want you to look at the different shapes that there are. I'm sure you'll see squares and we're looking at this architecturally. I'm sure you'll see squares and rectangles and triangles and ovals and circles and all those different shapes. Look how all of those shapes are put together to form your home where you live. Okay, architecturally, you can compare that to any genre of music except for classical music. Okay, because the architectural structure is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. It's not very complex. All right, that's every genre of music. All right, in order to understand classical music architecturally, you need to go to Europe and you need to look at a Gothic cathedral. One of my favorites is the Reims Cathedral in France. Now I want you to get out an encyclopedia or go on the internet and type in Reims, I think it's R-H-E-I-N-S, and look at that cathedral. If you were standing in front of it and you were looking at one square foot of that building, you would see intricate details. You would see pattern after pattern. You would see all kinds of complexity in that one little square foot. That is classical music. The structure and the organization of classical music is extremely complex. It's intricate. It's patterns upon patterns. And all of that comes together like that cathedral. And when that hits your brain, then no wonder you're building a bigger, better brain. So this is what happens when you actually listen to classical music. It changes the electromagnetic frequency of the brain. It changes the way that the brain processes information so that you are able to learn material better. Now, if you were to actually learn to play a musical instrument, then you can play all the different other genres of music and you are still building the brain because when you actually learn to play a musical instrument, you are using every single bit of your brain, the left, the right, the front, the back portions of the brain that go together to give it the most incredible exercise that you'll ever give your brain. So again, just to recap, every genre of music out there, the structure and organization is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple, even though you may think that it's complex. In comparison to classical music, that is like looking at a Gothic cathedral. It is full of intricacies and incredible patterns and lots and lots and lots of intricate details. And when that hits your brain, expect your brain to become a bigger, better, more functioning, highly functioning brain. Thank you for, uh, oh, what the quote, I almost forgot because I absolutely love this quote. This quote is by Goethe and he said, I call architecture frozen music. Don't you love that? I call architecture frozen music. He understood the power of classical music. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.